Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the battery on your Drift Rider. This is a pretty easy procedure. It should take you approximately 10 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, remove the front fairings. Step two, remove the battery. Step three, install your new battery. And step four, reinstall your fairings. As with working on any electric product, always make sure to turn off the power before you begin. Let's get started on step one, removing our front fairings. There are six screws in total we need to remove. Let's take our Phillips screwdriver and start removing those screws. Once you have all six screws removed, slide off the front fairing and set it aside. There are three wires that need to be disconnected from the back half of the fairing. Two on the power switch and one on the charging port. Take your needle nose pliers and let's disconnect those wires. The two on the power switch are disconnected. Now let's disconnect the plug to the charging port. Simply press down and separate. Once separated, you can pull the back half out and set it aside. And that concludes step one, removing our front fairings. Now onto step two, removing our battery. We have to remove the battery bracket in order to take the battery out. To do this, there are two screws we need to remove, one on front, one on back. Take your Phillips screwdriver and start removing. Both screws are out. Now we can remove the bracket and set it aside. Now slide the battery out of the front. Disconnect it from the harness by simply pulling straight apart. And now your battery is out. Remember, always dispose of them properly by recycling. And that concludes step two, removing your battery. Now into step three, installing your new battery. Remember, only use genuine Razor batteries. Plug it into the harness. Slide it in through the front of the frame. Take your battery bracket, set that over the battery and line up the holes. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and your two Phillips screws and secure the bracket down. And that concludes step three, installing your new battery. Let's move along to step four, reinstalling your fairings. Start with the back half and set it in place. Plug in the charging port. And next, plug in the power switch. It doesn't matter which red cable you put on which side as long as they're both plugged in. Once all the plugs are plugged in, take the front half and set it in place. Now take your Phillips screwdriver and start securing these fairings. All six screws are in and our fairings are secure. That concludes step four, reinstalling our fairings. Now hit that power switch and make sure it turns on. I hope you enjoyed the video, but if you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. See you later, alligator.